Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday again. That's right. February 26, 2018, 2019. See, I always manage to get something wrong. How are you? How's it going? How How is life treating you? Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this on replay or on YouTube, thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate you. I'm Dave Guerra, and this is Let's Have a Chat, a nightly five to six minute show live streaming on my Facebook page. So you're more than welcome to visit me on Facebook and uh, see what's going on, see what we're talking about. Tonight's topic is in the news, in the news. So a little bit of everything that's going on in the news and a whole lot of nothing today, really. You can tell it's a slow news day when there's like, they're still talking about the Grammys, the Grammys that happened this past weekend or past Sunday night. At that annual one. I mean, oops, I'm sorry. I mean the Oscars, the Oscars, you would think with all the music and everything, it was the Grammys, but no, it's the Oscars. So now I wonder now if the Grammys are going to look like the Oscars. So just again, either way. So they're still talking about that three days past it. So, you know, you've done, you've done pretty good when you can, you're still being talked about days after an event, days after something has happened. So, you know, you're doing pretty good and that's a good thing. But if you can say you've done that, you've done something and three days later, they're still talking about it. Not in the sense of they're snickering or laughing behind your back, but in the sense of, wow, good job, great accomplishment. So something to shoot for, something to aim for. Again, it's a news, uh, no, it's a slow news day. And again, and I'm not kidding, these are ripped straight from, from prestigious, and I say prestigious in quotes, air quotes, because it's, they're prestigious. Uh, news organizations online, and, and I'm talking, you know, the, they have dot coms after them, so they don't have anything else. They have dot coms, dot com, not dot co, nothing like that, or io, or anything, dot coms. So, you know, reputable, we hope. Anyway, and I'm not kidding, this is straight from there. A couple of NBA players got stuck in an elevator. Yeah, that's true. That's that's exactly what happened. A couple of NBA, play, NBA players, I want to say the Portland Trailblazers, some Portland Trailblazers, they got stuck in an elevator and they videotaped them, or they filmed, they videoed themselves and it made it to one of the dot coms. The front page, front page. So you know that that's like, wow. So I don't know if that's worthy or is there something behind that? Again, that's just a slow news day for you. Next, however, I did, I did, did come across something. So apparently Tesla, you know, the makers of the, uh, of the electric cars that are all over the place. Everybody wants one, whatever. Anyway, and they have like this huge iPad in the middle console. Maybe that's what they want. It's just they want the big ass iPad, but whatever the situation. So Elon Musk tweeted about the Tesla um, um, earnings. And it seems that it might be an SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission violation. And what can be done about this? So, you know, he, he's the CEO of Tesla and he's he tweeted about the earnings and apparently there's certain rules you have to follow and so you don't um people that own stock don't either buy ahead of time or or, or dump it you know before it the other official announcement so i understand that but here's the guy he's the ceo he actually started this company he, he built it from the ground up and of course as you go public you have to give away part of your power and in doing so so he's got this board and it's board of officers, you know, like the chief off, chief, chief operating officer, the chief financial officer, chief information, and so on and so on. CIO, CTO, the C-suite, and so you got members on that board. And on that board, you know, the the whole company now is going to get maybe possibly fined from the SEC because of what the CEO posted online. So now they're looking at censuring him, sanctioning him, or possibly getting rid of him. Now, what does that say about the individual? Uh, what does that say about the leadership on the board when they want to get rid of the guy who started the company? Look at what happened to Apple. Remember Apple? They got rid of Steve Jobs. The board said, no, Steve, you're not the, you're not the picture of where Apple's going now. We know better. Meanwhile, so what does he go off and do? Well, he does what he does, and guess what? Eventually, they bring him back. They bring back Steve Jobs again because those that knew better kind of just started sinking the ship real quick. And... Uh, so he came, he brought him back. And uh, now they wanted to kind of do the same thing with, with, uh, with Elon Musk. You know, I mean, he's got his SpaceX, he's got everything else. He's got all the other things he's running. But again, he started this company with this vision and 
his own sweat, his own blood, sweat, and tears. And now the company's thinking about possibly getting rid of him because of what he's done. All he's got to do is, you know, pay the fine, move on, don't ever do it again. And there you go. But that's how you learn. That's how you learn. And that's the message you send to anybody that wants to start something and starts and actually create something. And then now is in a situation where there's a board kind of directing operations. And is the somebody that wants to start something are going to be afraid that one day they might be kicked out of what they started? So why bother anyway? What does that say about innovation? What does that say about business leadership? What does that say about business in general? You know, especially when, when the person who actually created the company gets kicked out because everybody else has a different mindset. And I understand. I was in that situation once a couple of years back. Uh, I had this idea for a dot com. I called in two friends. Oh, and folks, if you ever want to lose friends, start a business with them. I guarantee you it's the quickest way to lose friends. And my vision was a certain thing. It was sports related. And I was married. I'm still married. And they were married too, but they were kind of their their other halves didn't buy into what, what I was selling. Uh, I, they bought into what I was selling. They were supporting me. They were backing me up. Not financially, but they were there on the ground doing what needed to get done. And they were the boots on the ground. They, they were fantastic. Don't get me wrong. But then as things started going and it's like, you could hear that there was other whispers going on in the background. So it came to an end because I was not in a position to compete with the spouses and what they were saying. Well, how come he's not doing this? How come he's not doing that? And I was like, well, for one, it's my idea. So I understand that. I understand that with Elon Musk. It was his idea. I understand that with Steve Jobs. I get that. So to get kicked out is kind of kicking a shin, kicking the throat, kick, kick them when they're down kind of situation. And what does that do for morale? What does that do for the organization's morale? Here's their leader. People joined this organization because of their leader, and now that leader is out. So again, before things like that start happening, let's look at everything, every possibility, and then um, if all, everything's been exhausted, then by all means, kick them out. But Look at the long picture, look at the long tail, look at the big picture, there we go, look at the big picture, look at the long tail, and then figure it out from there. But don't just look because, oh, well, he's saying things he shouldn't be saying, we're in trouble, we gotta pay a fine, let's get him out of here. That's not the way it works, that's not the way it has to work. So, something to think about. Folks, my name is Dave Garrett, this is Let's Have a Chat, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.